what is going on today guys welcome back to the channel today we are working on the supra we are going to be installing the mst intake <laughs> So I'm going to give you a quick run through on how to install this. If you've never installed or taken the air box off the car, you can refer up to the corner to our FTP intake and charge pipe install. I show you how to take it out, but I will give you some tips and tricks along the way for taking and installing this. Let's go ahead and get the air box off and the FTP intake off and we'll go ahead and get all the MST parts on. One of the great things about the MST intake is it gives you a aggressive spool intake sound. Uh, it's hard to explain. We'll just show you. So as you guys have seen many, many times, we're gonna go ahead and remove the air box. I'm gonna remove the actual clip here. We are gonna be removing the uh, sensor out of the top of the air intake box. Loosen the coupler and we'll set this aside because we're gonna need to get that sensor out. We have the HKS filter in ours. And just like that, just pull it all out. Go ahead and pop the FTP pipe off. Once you got this off, this portion you're gonna be keeping. So we're gonna go ahead and take a flat head in here. And just kind of work it around and get this to release off of this little notch here. It's easier if you kind of get it to go forward a little bit. Pop her off like that, she comes off. Now, if you ever want to put this back, you're gonna to want to find a hose clamp that will be the same size that can go back over this. All right, and then you can just go ahead and use your flat head and pop it underneath here, pop her off. So this is the portion you're gonna use. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the air temp sensor. It takes a T20. Make sure you put the screws back just in case you ever need to go and use the air box again. Next, you're gonna need a three millimeter gonna need your intake air temp sensor slide her on in and you have two m8 allen bolts finger tighten those in now this you do not want to tighten very tight you just get it snug all right and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see where this kind of fits on here Set this up against this and all right. I'm not gonna push it all the way on. I'm gonna take my MST silicone hose and I'm gonna face the, sil the MST logo out so you can see it. And we're gonna just kind of get it where we want it and pull this back out. That's where we want it. So we're gonna go ahead and put one of the hose clamps on here right now. Tighten this, need a flathead screwdriver for it. And then our other hose clamp, we're just gonna get it so it doesn't slide around or fall off. So I'm just gonna get it so it isn't flopping around too much. So just like that, so you can still move it around by hand and it's in the right spot. Now we're gonna take our heat shield and we're going to get this in its right location. So this is gonna use this rubber grommet here, pull it off and it comes off of that. I'm gonna put the grommet back in place. I'm gonna taco it and push it through like that. One thing I was noticing is our bracket here is bent. So if yours comes bent, that is a bummer, but I will get it put back, flatten that out. 
easy enough. And we're just gonna set this here. Now there is a bolt underneath this. You can easily remove with a, a wrench. It's a 14 millimeter and you don't need to pull it all the way off. You're just loosening it. So once you get it loose, you can go ahead and loosen it more with your fingertips. You can go ahead and slide underneath it. Don't tighten it yet. This is the nut that you're loosening with a 14 millimeter opening wrench. And so there's a little ridge inside here, so you can see there. And we're gonna pop this inside of there, just like that. And then in here is where the bolt and washers and nut that are provided go. And for this, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter for the bolt and a 13 millimeter for the nut. Put a washer on the bolt. Go ahead and slide that on through. Nut and put a washer. 13 on the bottom, 12 on the top. It doesn't have to be crazy tight, just needs to be snug. That's not going anywhere. Make sure this is in its right location and tighten this up. And that, you don't have to get crazy tight either. Just want it solid. All right, now we're gonna take the stock piece with our hose on it. We're gonna get this down in here and get her in place. Make sure your little PCV is out of the way. Once you hear it click in place, and grab your little hose here that pops on and pop that in place. And then we're gonna go ahead and rotate our hose clamp to where we can get access to it. And there's a little flared in, that's, that's where the actual uh, filter goes on this side. So you're gonna feed it in like this and give it a little twist around, twist a rooney, and then get her in spot. Make sure she's in there. All right, so before you tighten this up, we're gonna go ahead and fit our filter in here, like so. And then make sure our clamp is where we want it. Go ahead and tighten, and tighten the clamp for the filter. Plug in our sensor, and we're gonna move on to our air box lid. Set this on here. It slides underneath the plastic. I need you to be very careful because you see how small these washers are? You're gonna go bolt, lock washer, washer. It'll look like that. And we're just gonna thread in finger tight. This bottom one is the hardest of all just because there's that rubber gasket right there. So we're just gonna put that in place. All right, and I'm just gonna get these snug by hand because if I use a ratchet, it's likely gonna over tighten these. These bolts will win versus this sheet metal. All right, look at that. That is pretty awesome. So you guys know I couldn't give you an install without a startup. I don't know. The exhaust is really loud, so I couldn't hear the intake. But you guys could. What'd you think? Well, as you can see, it makes really cool sounds on the dyno and when you're driving it. So, does it make horsepower? That's the real question. They claim 12 to 14 horsepower. 
Well, I'm not gonna let you know in this video, but in a future video, we're gonna do some dyno runs. We're gonna test the MST intake and do some Ecutech testing. So if you have any questions whatsoever, leave a comment down below. You can also email us at help at speed industry and we can answer your questions over there. Other than that, make sure you turn the bell on, subscribe so you're notified when the next video comes out of the Supra on the dyno. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace.